Hello everybody, my name is Bean, you're watching Tomato Milk. This is my first episode, Michael's already posted like two, so I better get on this. Today we'll be playing Lavender, and hopefully I'll be playing more of this series soon. Um, I'll mostly be playing this until I'm done, and then a little bit of Animal Crossing, which I have on my computer, so, um, that'll be fun! So, let's get started. I may sound a little bit, um, shitty in my first recording, because it's been quite some time since I've recorded games. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh no, it's not working. There we go. Alright, All right, I am ready for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's sh controls probably. Alright, that's, that's pretty easy actually. Alright, cool. Proceed with game. I guess we should show it. Feeling the artwork in this game looks really uh, top notch. Once upon a time, there was a young woman pregnant with her first child. She was very nurturing and made sure to take good care of both herself and the unborn. One day, she was strolling through the forest. She had gotten lost and became rather hungry. Worried about her baby, the woman tried to find something to eat. Soon, she found a cottage in the woods with a modest garden next to it. There, several trees and shrubs bore delicious fruits. The woman let out a sigh of relief and walked up to the garden, which you should never do if you've ever read any fairy tales, because some witch will get you or something. There, she picked several fruits and started to eat. However, the owner of the garden was not happy with the young woman's indulgence. Well, yeah, no shit. Like, you don't just go up into someone's garden, like, start eating their food. You go up and ask them. You see, the garden was grown with utmost care, by the witch who lived in the cottage. See, I told you it was going to be a witch. She had witnessed everything through the window. Just when the expecting mother was about to eat a third fruit, the witch approached her with a cold expression. How dare you eat from my garden, she snarled. Terrified, the trespasser vehemently apologized. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! But it was too late. To make up for your grave mistake, I require a tribute. The expecting mother bowed her head. I, I don't have anything of value, I'm afraid. The witch pondered for a minute, then replied. Your baby, that will suffice. Okay, here's what I have to say, uh... A child in trading to trade training your child for two fruits it just seems a little bit you know kind of costly I guess but whatever wait her baby yes this witch is selfish and cruel she acted in a way that can't be forgiven. But, what happened to the baby? Well, maybe I'll tell you about that some other time. Okay. That attitude, though. Don't look so sour. It's your birthday. I guess. Look at that sass. Just that little pixel face. It's like three lines. It is so sassy. Oh, before I forget, she's really tall. Happy birthday, Lavender. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to take good care of it. I'm glad you like it. I should probably do different voices for this, but I'm kind of lazy. Oh, look at the time. I'm sorry, Lavender, but I have to go now. 
It's okay. I had fun. Alright, I'll see myself out then. I'll come for lunch around two. I'm betting my money that that's actually the witch. Until then! Later, Mom! Just fucking fell for that trap door. It's such a nice day. And my present. It would be a shame if I didn't use it. She's not even combing her hair. Ah! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! I- I dropped it! At the fucking window. Mom will kill me! I- I have to get it back! Good luck! That's like a high ass building! Oh! I have to move around, don't I? Cool, I'm just gonna- No time to read right now! Mom didn't lock the door? She usually does. I... Maybe I shouldn't. Bitch, do it anyways. Well, here goes nothing. I should probably get something else. Oh, shit. Okay. So. Just get off. I can't go back up there. Because... I'd love to paint something, but now is not the time. I'm just like making sure there's no secret items. And there's not, so I'm just gonna like check around. Nurture. It's a painting of a mother and child. Oh shit, I have to choose something, right? What am I doing? Oh, do I just like touch them? I needs a little more time. Oh, there's little plants in here. That's pretty cool. That's kind of cute, actually. Wow. Oh, sorry. Cool. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen a game that actually does that. Book on the table reads, Three flowers reaching to the sky. One quite tall and brittle. One waiting with patience. And one quickly satisfied. Oh, hey, those are those flowers. I'm thinking. I'm assuming. Maybe? <gasps> what the fuck? Do I have to just sit here and wait? Oh my goodness. It's kind of time consuming. Consuming. One of those flowers just died. What the heck? Dude. This is difficult. Never mind, I don't like this little flyer function. Oh, it's like a code! Okay. Guess we're just gonna sit and wait. Oh, okay, 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 I see what I'm doing now. Cool. Okay. Oh, oh no, what a fucking died. God damn it. Ah, it's gonna die. No! Oh my goodness. So, most of my time is going to be consumed by these flowers, which might be boring. But hey, I don't care. I want to play with the flowers. Oh, fuck.
I hate this. I am going to find something else to do in this game instead of wasting my time on full hours. Fuck! I probably have to do goddamn flowers in order to get the key. It's like some kind of code that I need to break in order to do this. No. Uh. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. Um, hopefully by next time I'll have the flowers figured out so you guys don't have to keep sitting and watching me play with flowers and yeah because that's kind of boring so hopefully next time we'll find the key and flowers will be grown and stuff so until next time bye <laughs>